My name is Monroe Gates, and I'm from, you know, I came from Cameroon Zoo. I mean, it's fun and why, you know, that's my first time actually really seeing Cameroon Zoo for, you know, I mean, it's not really that. I came here when I was little. I uh, was working on After Effects and stuff like that. Yeah, what did you like about it? The way I like, different shapes and stuff like that, and the rotation and stuff. I'm Jillian Burnson from Gross Point, Michigan. I find inspiration in many different scenarios, but I originally got involved in film my freshman year and really enjoyed the class and learning with different equipment and different camera angles. Hey, my name is Madison Lindeman. I'm from Sterling Heights, and my roommate Jill and I have been working on our Michigan Youth Arts Festival project, just going around interviewing all the people, all the different disciplines, and it's been really cool. I learned a lot of new things this weekend. Um, the biggest would probably be new editing software because I use a different editing program. Um, I also learned animation and lighting and sound techniques. I, I learned a lot like about new software and different and you know how camera angles mean a lot. Like they contribute a lot to telling the story and watching all the other kids here, it's it's amazing what they can do. The nicest surprise was how open everyone is to like helping you. I, like I've learned so much from everyone around me. With everyone has their own different talents, and so that was really cool. My name is Meredith Egler, I'm from Ann Arbor, and I worked on, um, I don't know, it's kind of like a, an experimental music video, I guess, with one of the violinists at Michigan Youth Arts Festival. I guess in terms of challenges, I didn't have any structure to go from. Every other thing I've made um, has been given some outline, so, um, but it was kind of interesting because it was the only opportunity I've had to just be creative.
I'm Dorian Murphy. I'm from Portage. I won a scholarship through Daft. Uh, I made the lonely goldfish. My friend had a goldfish that died and she thought that the goldfish fell in love with the fish on the fish food can, so. That's really cute. <laughs> like, what were some of the challenges you faced this weekend? Um, I didn't have enough time to do everything that I wanted. So I wanted to do animation and filmmaking, but. Okay. So what did you end up creating? Um, I've been kind of drawing stuff and I helped out with the horror film thing. Uh, my name is Nick Ranger and I'm here from Kalamazoo. My name is Nick Vassar. I'm from Sterling Heights. My name is Sean Peacock. I uh, go to Divine Child High School. My name is Jack Thomas. I'm from Rochester, Michigan. My name is Sam Carroll. Um, I'm from uh, St. Clair Shores, suburb of Detroit. And uh, the short I worked on was Given, which is a spooky, scary shadow short. Uh, basically, it's about um, a guy who is, um, he kind of, in the beginning, you kind of see him as this like upset, depressed kind of character. Uh, when he falls asleep, he wakes up in this like uh, dream state area in this world, um, and he's kind of trying to figure out his way out as he's being chased. And it's really, really interesting, and the I think the ending is going to be really fun for people. We have to animate a lot of it because we can't. The main villain, so to say, is a shadow, and uh, we have a friend Sam working on that, animating that. He's been doing it the whole time we've been here. I have done a lot of animation, and I've done a lot of special effects, and you know, a lot of you know, editing in general. But kind of like, it's very impressive at the fact that I've been doing this under about 48 hours or so. Combating ideas was the biggest thing because we all had an idea of what we wanted the project to be, and then when we started production, we all had these separate ideas that were kind of clashing. Um, so the challenge was kind of meshing them together and creating one project. It's impressive the fact that we came up with the idea on Thursday, Thursday night. We did a bunch of shooting, a bunch of editing, a bunch of animation on Friday, and then we did all this post-production today. As kind of a sound designer slash, uh, I did PA work, that kind of thing, just helped out in story development, shot ideas, that kind of thing. Uh, something I learned that I didn't know before, I guess, is just a lot about how to operate a camera in ways that I wasn't aware of. Uh, a lot of the technology here, or the equipment, is more than I've got at home, so it's really been cool to be able to experience that and learn how to use it. Meeting people that were like into the same things as me and were actually passionate about filmmaking was nice. You meet these people and you don't really know them, but like within a few minutes you're instantly on the same wavelength and you feel like you've known them for years because you're all working towards the same goal and you want the same thing. I just want to thank my teacher, uh, Joe Elliott, for allowing me to to get this, the half scholarship to get here and uh, experience this. This weekend, I really took away like the experience of working with people who are really knowledgeable in the film world. A lot of the times when we're working with people, um, whether it's actors or other people who call themselves filmmakers, they're not super experienced, but the people here are all very, very experienced and they all know what they want and it changes the production a lot. I don't know, I guess it just kind of shows like development as an artist, I suppose, that you're able to do stuff a lot quicker than you originally were when you started. So I think that's kind of cool. Just the, just the fact that you can visually see yourself improving, I feel that's pretty, uh, that's pretty cool. I think after we're done today, I think we're gonna try to stay in touch and show each other our projects. I know we're uh, giving each other our YouTubes and you know maybe we'll collaborate in the future. Good stuff, guys. Try to get out, but your soul wore thin. Now no one will hear you shout. It's time to give in. I will not 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 give in.
Ah! I've accepted the shadow. <laughs>